What's up, freaks? Welcome to a live, full, middle of the day boxing cardio boot camp session. We're boxing here, a full session. You can do straight from home. You can see we got several heavy bags set up there in the background. You could be doing it just in the air and shadow boxing. You can hold some light dumbbells if you need to. Do whatever you need to do. It's gonna be a full session. You will sweat your ass off if you do this correctly. We're gonna do a lot of a lot of footwork, a lot of movement in this workout. So even if you don't have a heavy bag, normally these workouts, you don't need much space, but today you wanna to have as much space as possible. That's why you can see we're out here, we're totally spread out because we're gonna be using a lot of footwork. So whatever the largest amount of space you have, clear some damn room and get started. We're gonna get loosened up here. We're gonna go through the basic punches here in the beginning as a warm up. You can never get too much practice doing your basic punches. The basics and fundamentals are what wins the freaking war. So we're gonna get started right off the bat. Let's loosen up our arms, some big forward shoulder circles while you're walking forward, and then backward shoulder circles while you're walking backwards. Forward shoulder circles coming forward, just loosening it up, getting the blood flowing. Backwards while you're moving backwards. Backwards when you're going backwards, forwards when you're going forward. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Getting the arms ready to punch, getting the legs ready to move. You're gonna be bouncing, you're gonna be on your toes. You're gonna be light on your feet. Tons of footwork here. All right, fling your chest out. Right arm on top, right arm on bottom while you're still just moving the feet, either stepping side to side, up and down, do whatever you want with your feet. Right arm on top, right arm on bottom, catch it, hold for a stretch. Fling it open, catch the other side. Fling it and catch it. A couple more times each side. Just getting the arms loosened up, ready to move, ready to roll. Give me also some time to clear out some damn space. So you can move around. You should have some space around your heavy bag if you can. I'm trying to see some comments here, but it's bright and sunny. I can't really see the comments too much on here. And good. Wide stance. Wider than shoulder width with the feet. We're going to reach down the bottom, get that stretch, and open up the upper body at the top. And both hands reach out to the right side. Lean the chest out to the side. Middle. Arms up. Down to the left. Arms out. Middle. Up. Right. Out. Couple more times around. Middle, up, left, out. Middle, up, and right, out. Let's get the quad stretches. All saying quad stretch. One to three seconds each side. Quad stretch, and then knee hug, knee hug. Quad stretch, quad stretch, knee hug, knee hug. Rotate through it on your own. Getting those legs moving, you need to hold for a little longer, hold it for a little longer. Hold for as long as you need to. Quad stretch, quad stretch, knee hug, knee hug. All right, let's go through our basic punches here. Real quick, our one is our straight left, our two is our straight right. So we're just gonna go with a one, two. Light and smooth just to get started. So you have a little bounce, a little rhythm. In my stance, I'm right-handed, my left leg is forward and to the front and to the left, my back leg is back and right, my hands are up, my elbows are tucked in. Bouncing my step on the balls of my feet. One, two, right down the middle. Straight down the middle. One, two, reset. Straight left is a one. Then I'm gonna pivot this right foot, turn this right hip, while I'll extend the right arm. My palms start facing in, end up facing the floor. Reset. One, two, right down the middle. Breathe it out. One, two. Hands are up the whole time. Little bounce, little flow, little rhythm. One, two, and reset. Breathe out for each shot. It's light and smooth. Just getting the body started, body moving. You need lots of footwork on the back today. So you need to get warmed up. Straight left is your one, straight right is your two. All right, let's go three, four. Three is your left hook, four is your right hook, and reset. Three, four. So you're pivoting that left foot, then pivoting the right foot while you whip the right hip. Weight is shifting side to side. Three, four, and reset. Three, four. Reset, whenever hand's not punching, see it's up my chin. So I throw the left hook, my hand is up my chin. When I throw the right hook, my left hand is at my face. Protecting your dome. Bounce, flow, rhythm, three, four, reset. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Breathe out for each strike, each shot. Hands up, hands up. Bumping it, bumping it. Hip, hip. Reset. So three is our left hook. Four is our right hook. All right, shake those arms out, shake those arms out. We're just getting started, just getting the blood flowing. Okay. Okay. All right, we're going five, six. Five is your left uppercut, 
Six is your right uppercut. So this crunch, five, six, you're punching straight up and down. Crunch, five and six. Five is left upper, six is right upper. And reset, so short range, close range punches. Five, six, left upper, right upper. Crunch into it, get the waist, the abs, the obliques, the lats. And reset, hands up, hands up. Whatever hand's not punching, stays home. Bam, five, six. Just get the blood flowing here. Just getting started. Loosening up all your basic punches. All right, good. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, we're gonna work on footwork. There's gonna be a lot of footwork here, going in and out of the bags, circling around the bags, lots of footwork. So get in your stance. And if you're right handed, I'm gonna say this all as if you're right handed, if you're a lefty, you just do the ex exact opposite of the shit that I'm saying. So if I'm moving forward as a right handed fighter, my left leg is forward. If I'm moving forward, I'm gonna step wide forward with my left foot and then back to my basic stance. My feet are never coming closer together than my basic stance. So I'm going back for, backwards, my back foot, my right foot is gonna go first, wide, and then back to my stance. If I'm going to the left, my left foot would go first and then just back to my stance. See, I'm not letting the heels come close together and click. I'm never closer than my basic stance. No matter where I'm moving, how fast I'm moving, I'm pivoting, left, right, they never come closer together than your basic stance. Whatever direction you're moving, you're moving that foot first, kind of stepping wide slightly by a couple inches, and then closing the distance back to your original stance. So my feet will never come closer together than this basic stance. So let's move forward and move back. All we're doing right now is just forward. When I move back, I'm gonna move this back foot first. I'm gonna go slow here so you can see it. Go forward, look, look at my feet. You can see on the, the Instagrams and the wide ones. Facebook, I'll have to back up here some. Jeez, I have to go way back here to Facebook seat. So when I'm going forward, this front foot moves, and then I come just back to my basic stance. If I'm going to the right, my right foot's gonna go first and back to my stance. If I'm going left, my left foot's going first and back to my stance. So I'm not doing this and let my heels click together. All right, let's go forward and back. Hands are up the whole time, eyes are forward. Forward, back, forward, back. Right on the back there. Forward and back. Let's go left and right. So let's go to the left. Left foot first. And then to the right. Right foot first. I'm still maintaining my stance. It's staggered. It's going to feel a little awkward, especially when you're going to your right. But that's the way it is. You need to maintain this stance the whole freaking time. Left and to the right. All right, good. So let's get started. It's going to be very simple here in the beginning. All we're going to do in a straight line on my back here. Back it up just a little bit. And I'll be working all different angles so you can see from all different angles. We've got some wide screens, up and downs, and inside outs on the cameras. Four different cameras here. All we're going to do is shuffle into the bag with that same footwork. We're going to throw our one, and we're going to shuffle out. That's it. So I'll just show you here what we're going to do. Pretend the bag is you with the camera. I'm shuffling in, pop, and shuffling out. So I'm going to do a few in the air so you can see it. Shuffle all the way in. One pop. Shuffle out. Shuffle in, pop. And shuffle out. That's our one. Let's do it. Go. Get it on the bag. Yeah, instead of work. This is work for some of us. Figure it out so you can work out and train the times you want to, the times that work for you when you have full energy. But I get it. You got to do what you got to do. All right, so we're shuffling in, top, and shuffling out. Shuffling in, hands up, top. That last step, shuffling out. Just a straight jab. And then get out right away. Get in, pop, and get out. Just a straight left. That's just your one. We're going to be working this footwork all day. First round is just very simple. Just to get you flowing, get you distance. Get used to moving, punching, and moving. You're in, damage, out. In, pop, out. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Light on your feet. Zip in. Zip in, pop. Zip out. Zip in. Get out. Light on your feet. Pop. And you're out. All right. We're going to switch it into a straight two. You're right. Or straight right. You're two. So same thing. I'll show you a couple here in the mirror or in the camera. So you're going to shuffle in and flow. Bam. Right into that straight right. So when I get there, I'm pivoting my right foot. Turning that right hip. Left hand stays up. Boom. And get out. Zip in. Bam. And out. 
All right, let's do it. Shuffle in, door straight right, and get out. On the bag here. Zip it in, and get out. Shuffle in, shuffle out. You get a couple different angles. Go into it, just one punch at a time. Tons of footwork. This is why you can see boxing is a shitload of cardio, of legs, of balance, coordination, endurance. Legs are working like crazy. Look, all this. Boom, you get one punch and get the whole hell out. See that left hand is staying up. You're doing that straight right. See that left hand glued to your chin, to your cheekbone. And get out. Lay on your feet, zip in. And out. Zip in. Boom, time it. You're punching on the fly there. You're flowing right into it. Boom. And get out. In and out. Pivot, pivot, pivot. Bang. Slide in your feet. Sliding. Even though I'm pivoting with this right foot, when I go back, the same foot I pivoted with still needs to be the first one to step. So look, pivot and stepping out wide. So your feet are not coming close together. All right, let's go with the three. The left hook, your left hook. I'll show you in the camera first. Keep those legs stretched out in between. Keep them loose, keep them ready to roll. You're moving all day on your freaking horse. So we're shuffling in. You're gonna have to plant, pivot, left hook, get out. Zip in closer to the bag this time. Bam, left hook. Yeah, you two stand there while I'm demonstrating for five times. How about you do it also? Just pull up a chair, pull a long chair. You can just watch me work out. Just turn the treadmill on, hit start, and just sit and watch it. Yeah? That's okay. You're done. You're done. Shuffle in. Left hook. See, the, the one, you can kind of flow with your movement right into it. Same with the two. You can kind of flow and move right into it. The three, you need to have that billionth of a second plant so you can pivot into that left. All right, let's do it on the back. Shuffle in, and boom, and get out. You also have to get a little closer, and out. Zip in, and out. Left hook, right hand stays up, pivot, Give that left foot. So I can give you some different angles over here. Shuffling in, plant, pivot, and get out. Left hook, my three. Elf one's been 90 degrees, and we're parallel to the ground. Zip in, plant, pivot, bang, get out. Your body's throwing the punch. Power's coming from the ground up, from the legs, from the hips. Obliques, lats, arms are doing the least amount of work here. Zip in, left hook, get out. hip into the punch. Think about snapping that left hip. Whack. Whack into the punch. Zip in. Whack. And out. Slide in. And go. Bang it, bang it. A couple more. All right, same thing. We're not taking any damn break. We're going to shuffle in. And the four, the right hook. Shuffle in and boom. This one's gonna flow a little more. Still need to plant, pivot that foot, but you can flow right into it, right from the punch. Go. You two stop fucking standing around. Oh, oh, oh. We can do this. We can do this. Zip in. Right hook. Four. Strong fist, straight wrist. That right hook. Bang it. And bang. Slide on your feet. Zipping. Long punch. Slide out. Slide back in and bam. Pump it. Body weight coming, the momentum coming. That right hook. 
Good. Let's go to five. Five is your left uppercut. So you're going to shuffle in even a little closer. Bam. Crunch in. Uppercut up. In the air, you're going to be coming through and follow through. If you're on a heavy bag, you're going to be having to, bing, cut it short to dig it in there. Let's do it. Five. Short little choppy punch. If you're doing this the right way, your heart rate sure to be up. Your legs are already working from all this, these steps going in and out. Shit, I'm not even wearing my watch. I'm going to lose credit for all these steps for the day. Zip in, crunch, and punch. Five. Left uppercut. Zip in. I'll come for a different angle. As you can see it here. Shuffling in close. Right in with that left uppercut. And you get now. After I punch it, look. Punch it. This back foot is what's going out first. So I'm never closer together than that basic stance. Bang it, bang it. So the toe suckers. Punch it. And punch. Hands are up. Zip in. Boom. Just get rolling here. First real round, just getting started. All right, right into the six, the right uppercut. Crunch in. We did in the beginning of the practice. Now you're doing with the footwork. So you're just zipping in, shuffling in, and boom, crunching with the right uppercut. Get out. And zip out. All right, onto the bag. Dig it, crunch it, smash it! Mm. Smash the fuck out of the bag. Warmed up already. Keep blowing. Come on the other side to knock the bag the other direction. This type of workout for the video camera works better with these stand-up bags. But then they do move a little bit. Zipping out, zipping in. Right up cut. And get out. Crunch it. Driving up. And time. Shake it. Stretch it. Hydrate it. Do what you gotta do, stretch those shoulders. Get your calves stretched out, your feet. So you're gonna be on your toes, on the balls of your feet, bouncing nonstop this entire workout. We're just gonna be, the footwork we're just doing, the movement, every round we're just gonna be adding more and more movement into it, more and more footwork. So shake it, stretch it, your hip flexors, calves, feet, get it stretched, shake it out. Russian, tell them something. Besides the water. How is your tongue on? How old are you? Your control is off right now. My control is on. All right. Guys, besides the water, what are you drinking right now? What's in your pre workout, continuously for the workout? I want you to actually post it. I want you to type it because now we have that little break. I want to hear from you. What do you put in your pre-workout? I'm not going to give you the tips today. I want to hear from you what you're doing. And then based on this, we can respond to you. So write it down right now what's in your pre-workout. What's in that concoction? We have our own special concoction as a, as a family. Steve actually even personalized different than me because we have the different kind of nutritional needs, right? So the guys and the girls might have a different one. So I write it down. Who is writing today? Whoever's going to post today is going to get a free journal and planner on us. So I want to see these posts. If you're going to post it and give us your email address, we will deliver the 30-day virtual planner that will give you amazing discipline plus free workouts. So type it in the comments today and send your email to our DM. DM your email, post it right now, and you're gonna get a free planner, guys. We are going, second, second part of the workout. All right, let's like roll. Parts. 
So now you're going to be on your left side of your bag or your imaginary bag, whatever side you want to call it. So I'm way over here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shuffle in and throw that one jab that I did, mm -hmm. except after I pop it, I'm going to step to the left. And depending on how much space you have, I'm going to every step throw another one. I'm going to zip out, shuffle all the way around, zip back in, and just pop, 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 do three or four jabs, circling to the left. So you're going to exit in with the jab, circle with the jab, exit out, loop all the way back around to the beginning. Even if you don't have something to hit, so it's supposed to be tons of work just on your freaking footwork. Bounce around, knock shit over in your house, shuffle around your fucking couch, whatever you have to do. Stomp around. Or you should be, or if you're at work, fuck it, do it at work. Shuffle around your office. You'll be more, more productive the rest of the day doing something like this, stopping to do this. Getting paid to do this at work will make you more productive. You should tell your boss that shit. Have your boss call me up. I'll have a fucking word with him. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. All right, shuffling in. Pop, pop, pop. And I'm shuffling out. You see tons of footwork, then I'm shuffling around to the right. Shuffle back in. Pop, pop, pop. Okay. So I'll show you here real quick on the mirror also, just so you can see. So I'm in here. As I'm coming straight forward, my last step is boom. And then every left step to the left, pop. As my foot hits the ground, my fist hits your face. My face? Your face. See, I'm floating. Hop, hop, hop. Triple jab. Circling to your left. Tur turning to your left. Marlene, what's up? Turning 60? Bullshit. I don't believe it. I want to see a birth certificate. There's no way. There's no way. All right, shuffle in. Marlene, this is turning 60 this time. Shuffle around, zip awesome. in, pop, 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 and shuffle out. Hands up, look, my hands are up while I'm shuffling, so I'm getting plenty of work. Zip in, and get out. Loop it around, maintaining your stance the whole time. You want to get two jabs, three jabs, four jabs, five jabs, it doesn't matter. Just keep freaking circling. In and out, it's all about the footwork here. Get in, down. Get out, and we're gonna add on top of this. We're gonna build on to this. So get used to this damn circle. You can circle out wide, you can circle out short. You want more footwork, or less footwork, more punches, so maybe I'm just gonna circle short. Look, right back in. This time I'll circle out wide. Play around with it, make it different. Let's simulate what this is for. Come here. Stand there, no more. So there's my opponent. You can stand your hands up. I'm going to punch your face. So I'm zipping into my... <laughs> Why are you just standing there? You want to be the, you want to be the demo, Donnie? You want to be the Bob? And do something. Stand around. You'll be... So I'm going to shuffle like in. Look. Look pop, him. pop, pop. And that's going to throw... It's going to just be a moving <laughs> while I'm hitting him. And he either can pop stay in place while I then get in openings, or he's just gonna circle, and I'm gonna be still in control of it. So I'm just here. Just putting that jab in the face. Go, circle it, circle it around. Face. Pop it and get out. Zip around. Show you slow motion on these, these steps. Look, when I'm moving forward, my last step, my left foot's gonna hit the floor the same time that I time it that my fist hits the target. So when I step to the left, every left step, when my left foot strikes the floor, my left fist strikes face. Pop. So you're kind of stepping into it every time. And then your right foot slides to get back to your normal stance. So you're zipping around. Pop, 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 pop. Every step. Keep rolling. And get out. Loop around. And time. Good. Shake it for a second. Stretch those legs, calves. We're going to be adding on top of that. Shake it. Step stretch it. Shake it. Stretch it. Stretch your calves, guys. There's a lot of calves here. Come closer to your bag. Or any kind of equipment you have, hold her up to us now. Lean forward.
forward and stretch the calf. Bulk of your legs. All right, all we're going to do here is add on a straight right at the end. So you're going to circle around. Pop, pop, boom, boom, and I'm getting out. So I'm just adding a one, two at the end. So your last jab, whatever your last jab is, bam, you're just adding in a straight right. So I'll show you here on the mirror. Yeah, Tyson, stand around. That's good. Good. Good work. You didn't get a green check. Zip in. Pop, 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 boom. Straight right. Left, 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 right. See, it flows. It's not left, 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 and then a right. It's pop, pop, boom, boom. See, that last one flows into a one, two. Let's do it. Zip in. And then out. Move it around. Turn into that right. Make sure you're pivoting that right foot. Whip your right hip into the target. Think about bashing the hip, the, the target with that right hip. And then loop it around. Loop around wide, short, whatever. Good work out. Maybe I'm going to do a two jab. Maybe I'm going to go up a bigger distance. And I'm going to go three, four, oh, oh, more jabs. Up to you. There's as many jabs you want. Just keep them moving. Mix it up. Don't get the same every time. Sometimes two jabs, sometimes four jabs, sometimes five, sometimes three. But finish with the last one. Bam! With that straight right. Bang it. A hard straight right. Make it count. Keep getting in. Pop. Punching while you're moving. And boom! A hard while you make your exit. Shuffle it around. Move it around. Whoa. Down from your step. Just for fun. Move it around. Shuffle it. Tons of footwork. Let it flow. Hands up while you're moving. Shake it. Catch your breath. It's a lot of movement. Shake it. Catch it. Stretch it. it. Sip it. You can see this shirt when I'm facing you is red. When I'm not facing you, it's blue. It's part of the free code line of clothing. It's not just about colors and a style. It's about a fucking free code lifestyle. It's about a code, a way of living, an operating system for your life. And each shirt represents each color represents a different part of the free code. The red is fire and the blue is energy. On the, on the short, short sleeve shirts and the long sleeve shirts, the front and the right sleeve are one color, the back and the left sleeve are another color in freak fashion. But it's all about the relics and the re remembering, the reminders to bring the fucking fire every second of every second. To have the foundation of energy, to have infectious energy and enthusiasm and fucking spirit for life in every damn thing you do no matter what it is to go all in and all out on everything you do to just have a violence of action in everything you're doing not bullshitting not procrastinating not half-assing shit going all in and all out that's what the fire and the energy are all about that's what's reminding me every time i'm putting this shirt on every time i'm looking at it every time i'm seeing it on this camera when I'm coming and zipping in. It's a freaking reminder. The operating system for my body and for mind and body and business for the entire life. It's all part of the free code. All right, let's do it. We're going to build on what we were just doing. So I'll show you facing you first. So we zipped in, right? We came in. We hit pop, pop, then a one, two. What you're going to do is you're going to step out and pop right back in uh, for a hard two and then do your whole full loop. So you come in. Pop, pop, one, two, one step out, back in, boom, for a hard two, and get all the way out. So it's enter, one, circle one, one, two, exit, enter two, exit, loop it around. So you're just adding in, and exit, enter two, exit, circle around. 
Make sense? Makes sense to me. Follow along, not as hard as it fucking sounds. Let's go. I'll go nice and slow here in the beginning. Shuffle in. Pop, pop. One, two. Step out, right back in. Boom! For a bar two. And then get out. Just think about it. If I'm doing this the first time, right? And I get out, that's one thing. But if the next time I come in, you're expecting me to do the same thing and get out. I'm gonna block it and I pop in and boom! Right back in. And sneak. A power shot and it's explosive. That second two needs to be fucking violent and vicious. Let's do it. Out and boom! Mile driver, all your momentum, all your body weight, everything into it. Out, right back in, boom! Drive into it. Hands up while you're looping it. One step, one and a half, two steps. The less the better. Just chain it together. Bang. And loop it around. Balls your feet. And get out. Get the damage. In, violence, out. Two, with a little exit, entrance exit. Ah, loop it. Bring the fucking fire. Every second of every second. Infectious energy. Bring the fire. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Zip it around. Doing this the right way, especially if you're out here in the fucking sun, and you're moving with the right speed you should be, and zipping, punching hard, bouncing on your feet, non-stop zipping around, you should be out of breath. If you're out of breath, doesn't mean you're out of shape, probably means you're working hard enough. If you're not out of breath, doesn't mean you're in shape, it means you're probably not pushing hard enough, and moving hard enough, and fast hard, fast enough. Loop it around, shake it, stretch it, rush it! Turtles. It's so hot here in California. We gotta take care of others, like the turtles. The turtles. It's a turtle. Turtle. Right there, turtle. drinking turtle. water. Turtle. I hope you guys actually submitted what I asked for. It's not just about just saying what you have, but also getting some feedback, guys. Getting some feedback. So when you're gonna post it, actually, we can. We can check it, take a look, make sure that you're doing the right thing, and maybe suggest you something. And right now, you can submit also your own struggles. What is the recent struggle that you're facing in maybe your mind, body, and business? Submit the question. This is your time right now. We can answer it later. This is the time for you to stretch and ask questions and feed the 
other animals like I'm doing. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's do this. Make sure that you're submitting your stuff because who asked will get some good answers and we wanted to help you. The Freak family is here to help you, to help you. So follow us with our mission and wear the free coat clothing because each time you put it on, you're gonna feel more energized because why? Because we're gonna deliver a one free workout for you. So by shopping with the free code, you're gonna get a free workout always. And don't forget today, submitting your questions and your answers, whatever we asked you before, you can send us DM and you're gonna get a free panel. We just need your email. So make sure you do that today, guys. Back to the workout. All right, all we're doing is adding two more power punches onto that two, that two that we finished with. So I'll walk you through it here in the, in the mirror. I'll take that hat off for a second. Can't let it stay off for too long. This head will pop like a freaking cherry. Zip in, you're hitting your one. One, finish with a one, two, right? You stepped out and right back in for your two, you're just gonna add in a three, two. And then get out and loop around. So after that end is just boom, boom, boom. So it's a straight right. Left hook, straight right. That's it. What do I do to keep the bald head from getting burned up? Baseball hats, but it's so, so fucking hot. I'm just taking off for one round. Get a little vitamin D on the dome just for a couple minutes. That's it. All right, let's do it. So, that's a source of vitamin D. Yeah, vitamin D. Of course, you need it. It's healthy. You need it. Oh, you don't want to overdo it. You get skin cancer. Anything else? Anything else? Too much of anything. All right, so we're zipping in. Pop. Pop, pop, boom, out, back in, two, three, two, and then get out and circle around. Come in, pop, 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 boom, out, back in, two, three, two. Bam, let's do it. On the bag, let's do it for real. Dip in, pop, 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 boom, dip in, pop, 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 three, two, and circle out. Get out. Right in, pop, 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 boom, out, boom, boom, boom. So that final combo is a two straight right, three left hook, two straight right. And look, whatever hand's not punching is up in my chin. Bam, bam, let it flow. Let's do it. Tips. Give those feet into the two. Three. Two. So all your bodies into each punch. Whatever side you're punching with, the other side pivots. That side pivoting. Out right back in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Move it around. We're working.
right, this next round is going to be just a 6-3-2. Similar to that last combo we just finished with, except it's going to be a 6, which is right uppercut. So you just finished that last round with a 2-3-2. Two, two. The combo of this round, not all that circling. We're just going to zip into the bag. When you get in there, you're going to hit one squat thrust right here. Get up, six, three, two, and you're gonna zip out. You're only gonna do the squat thrust every other time you come in. So one time I come in, I'm gonna zip in, six, three, two, I'm gonna get out. Next time I come in, I'm gonna hit squat thrust, then six, three, two, and get out. Next time I come in, no squat thrust, just the six, three, two, got it? So you're just alternating, one round has a squat thrust, one round just goes straight to the punch. It's just straight in and out. We're not circling for this round. It's just getting in. Vicious. This is a violent, vicious, powerful combo. 6-3-2. That two might even come over the top. Might be kind of a hook. Overhand. However it comes out. Just let it freaking fly. Let's do it. Squat thrust every other time you go in. Shuffling in. Let's roll. Shuffle in. Six, three, two. And get out. Next time I come in, squat thrust. Six, three, two. And then out. Next time it's just six, three, two. So I flow. It's going right into that right uppercut. Six, three, two. The two might be an overhand a hook. We're going to call it a two, but it's whatever comes out. Next time I shuffle in, squat thrust. See, I'm right down here. And boom, boom, boom. And out. Next time, no squat thrust. Time is squat thrust. And get out. Zip it out. Zip in. Squat thrust. Why? This is combo. Right to the next round in a second. Quick, water, water. quick shake. Water, 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 water. Oh, 43. Water. 43 minutes on. All right, this round, we're not moving in and out. So this is the one round that we're not gonna have footwork, just we wanna get to work. So it's just squat thrust, one, two, three, two. So here, I'll walk you through it. Squat thrust, when you come up, one, two, three, two. Then squat thrust. Six, three, two. The same combo we just had. You're just all saying those two combos. Staying in place. Getting to work. Squat thrust, one, two, three, two. Squat thrust, six, three, two. That's it. Nonstop. You're down, you're up. Bam. Violence. Down, up. Violence. That's it. Vicious, strong, fast. Power strikes. Going in a couple seconds. Shake it and stretch it. I want this to be a strong, solid round. Every punch, with bad intentions, damaging strike. All right, let's do it. See to have squat thrust. One, two, three, two. Let's go. See here. Squat thrust. Two. Quad thrust. Six, three, two. Hard, hard punches. Doesn't 
doesn't need to be a long round because this is going to be a fast pace. So explosive. We're just burning out here. Of the day, we're burning out. Don't fly. All out. Every bit of juice you got left. I'm gonna go this way so you don't have my ass crack in your face. Squat thrust. One, two, three, two. Squat thrust. Six, three, two. Non stop. Push the pace. Burn yourself out. We are done. Are over. Done. Hey, Spawn. You're not out of breath. You did not push hard enough. You're not soaking. Sweat. Dripping sweat. Jovic. You didn't push hard enough. No. Yes. No. Yes. You're done. You're not done. Harry knuckle fist bump. All the way around. For all the Jovic. freaks out there. No. <laughs> Train with us. Listen up. There is never an excuse for missing your fucking training session. I had a guy tell me on a call just yesterday or today, I don't even remember what day it was anymore. A man, I was talking about the project, said he started his business three or four years ago and he just got back in to training a couple of months ago. He took training off for years to start his business thinking he didn't have time to train. It's ass backwards, you have it ass backwards. You have your non-negotiables, the things you need to do every day. You need to do them on the times when shit is easy so that you still have that habit rolling on the times when shit is hard, like starting a business, emergencies, whatever it is, when life gives you that universal bitch slap and you're prepared to handle with it. You can't stop doing the things that you've been practicing doing whenever times get hard. The only reason we practice them during the easy times is so we have that habit in an automatic daily discipline that we have it as a tool, as a usable tool to use when shit gets hard. So that's the time we actually need it. We, we do it reverse totally ass backwards. We use it when we don't need it and then we disregard it when we do fucking need it. The only reason we do it when we don't need it is so that we will do it when we do fucking need it. You can't sacrifice those non-negotiables and whatever that is for you, like waking up early at a specific time, going to sleep early, at a specific time. Healthy nutrition and hydration and supplementation if needed. Meditation, journaling, training. Like right there, every fucking day, seven days a week, no matter what. Doesn't matter if you're traveling, doesn't matter if there's an emergency, doesn't matter if you were up all night because the dog was puking and shitting and pissing all over the damn house. That's not an excuse for sleeping in. It's not an excuse for not training. That's why we train certain times and get used to things like we do in the project for sleep deprivation 
or having to function at a high level with low amounts of sleep or low amounts of fuel or energy or, or calories so that you're able to step up. We do that during the times of peace so we're fucking ready to go to battle during times of war. And every day these days seems like it turns into a fucking battle in life. So don't let any of those bullshit excuses, that's why it's tattooed on my damn arm so it's always there and it's never forgotten. No fucking excuses. Quit making them. That's why you have this free code line. It's a reminder every day when I'm putting this stuff on. Mixed with the old peak freak line of clothing. Telling me no excuses on the shorts all over the place. To be an obsessed freak. To be yourself. To be a protector. To have no one to protect. No one to attack. No one to shut up. No one to speak up. No one to stand up. No one to sit down. No one to slow down. No one to speed up. No one to lead. No one to follow. This is the shit way you need to be thinking. None of these bullshit, enough of these bullshit fucking stories you're telling yourself and bullshit excuses that you keep making. Find the fucking time every single day. We're in now about to get into June 1st. We made a free goal to have zero days off. We're talking a real full training session every single day and we've yet to miss a day this entire year. 365 days, zero days off. There's no days off. There's no days off. There's no fucking bad days. There's no cheat days. Live like that and you'll be fucking unstoppable. Anyway, we got to get rolling. If you have any questions, comments, need help with any of this, if you want information about the free code clothing line, or if you're looking for some higher level coaching, whether it's the project, the leadership and team development training we do around the country, or one-on-one -on -one high end personal discipline and personal development, peak performance accountability coaching, send me a message, a private message, or just put a comment below this video and we will get on the phone and see which program is best fit for you and which of this kick-ass clothing line is going to resonate with you the most so that you can live according to the freak code and in case no one told you yet today you're fucking awesome no excuses freak show anything you want to tell them very 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 normal child i can't imagine you guys somebody just scared the shit out of the new puppy over there and puppy. pissed off the new neighbors but oh well they'll have to get fucking used to the freak code lifestyle you, i will talk today you are fucking awesome no excuses. Thank you guys for joining. No excuses.